Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Bible Illustrated Hands. Uh, today's question comes from Nick the Tick. Uh, he asks, uh, how do I keep cool? Uh, well, Nick, it is one of those things that all of us struggle with. Um, I can only give you some of my petty advice, but uh, I can lose my cool too. So do what you want, uh, do what you want with it, with the advice. So, um, I can't uh, remember which saint said it, uh, but he said, um, I never uh, regretted uh, keeping calm. And he's true because uh, I'm uh, speaking from personal experience. Very often when uh, I acted uh, rashly uh, out of, uh, you know, uh, when uh, all of my passions were riled up, when I was furious, angry, I always bitterly regret it, without fail, without exception. And um, uh, that's the issue. Uh, St. Paul says that we should not let sun set on our anger. That is, all of the things that are uh, uh, we're, we're angry about, that we should resolve those uh, <laughs> by the end of the day, because... Uh, if we let them into the, our next day, they will keep uh, gnawing uh, at us uh, for a very, very long time. Um, Saint Paisio said that um, um, he had a great, uh, he had a great um, uh, parable. For example, uh, imagine that um, you saw a man beaten by robbers, you know, on the street. Uh, what would you do? Uh, would you uh, 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 would you rush to help the man, uh, or would you kick the man as he lay? And uh, the man who was uh, present uh, when Saint Pius said it said, "Well, of course I would help the man." And then he said, "So why are you furious at your brother when demons are attacking him uh, and he's furious?" And, um, you know, if we remember that passion of fury is something that demons um, love, just love to take advantage of, uh, well, I think it would be that easier if we let ourselves remember this uh, during our uh, times of temptation that it will, would be that easier to fight this passion. Um, by the way, a note on righteous anger. Um, people today love to think that that they're a righteous, and b that their uh, that their wrath is righteous and justified. However, um, uh, Saint John uh, Cassian says that well, yes, there is such a thing as uh, righteous wrath, but we also need to remember that. Uh, we also need to remember that uh, we are so sinful that we can't tell those two apart. And uh, that uh, we should, for the benefit of our souls, simply uh, uh, simply uh, consider all wrath that we fall into to be, sin uh, to be fallen sinful wrath. Even if it seems the most justified uh, thing to do. And uh, I'm guilty of this a lot, you know, uh, thinking myself righteous when in the, uh, when in fact I'm the very opposite of it. So, um, there's that. Uh, by the way, there's a very easy <laughs> life hack uh, uh, if you're on the phone with somebody who annoys you. Uh, take a, an icon of Christ, especially of his crucifixion, if you have it, and gaze on it while you're talking. It's a remedy for the soul. Uh, it, this doesn't really work for emails, because you have to type emails, and it does, uh, rarely works uh, in uh, direct confrontation, because um, unless you're lucky to have a crucifix, a crucifix around. But simply, you know, try, try some of these, and who knows, maybe... Um, 
may, maybe they will uh, help you out. But I think personally that the best way is simply to remember how many times you have burned yourself by your own rage. You know, uh, how many people you have heard. Uh, I still remember one argument with my father, uh, which uh, was uh, very intense, very short lasting, but I get pangs of guilty conscience to this day because of it, you know. So, uh, it was a big learning experience. And remember, every temptation is an occasion for holiness, you know. Brave through it, and if, if you brave enough storms, they will get weaker. Because even demons will realize that that particular weapon isn't really effective against you. So, I hope I was of some use to you. Bye!